Hi everyone, we are back, and we are back with the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee. They did a shock drop in the UK, and it was, for some strange reason, when they do shock drops in the UK, they always do them as a draw, and well, and the EU, I should say. They always do them as a draw, and for the second time, I have worn a draw on sneakers. Three years, but this is my second uh, my second W on a draw. My first was the Sean Witherspoon, so I, was, I can't really complain having these and the Sean Witherspoon, but back to the Jubilee. And I have to admit, I do really like the shoe. I do like the, the gold jump in there and the uh, silver 23 at the back. Everybody says it's chrome, but the reason why they call it the Jubilee is to celebrate. I think they took that really from the UK because we always say Jubilee when there's a 25th Jubilee, Jubilee or a 50th anniversary Jubilee. But hopefully we ain't got to wait another 25 years for the gold Jubilee. So we'll have these in the, instead of having uh, silver, we'll have it gold. But hopefully we'll have them sooner than you think. Uh, and we've got, which is nice on here now, we've got how Tink Hatfield originally wanted the Air Jordan 11 to look. To say Jordan on the side. There are, oh, the other picture of him floating around with them on the side. So have it, to have it like the Tinker 3s, how Tink Hatfield really wanted the 11 really. And, that, and that's how we've got it. He did laceless ones, even though we've got the Adapt 11s coming at the end of the year, which I will not be buying because they're just, for me, too expensive. I already have the Adapt BBs, I don't. I don't really want any more adapt adapt shoes now, to be honest. I'd like to see what the next one is, the adapt three, see if it's a minute smaller, even any easier. But like I said, I'll just stick to the 11 Jubilee. And everybody says it's a bit boring because we've already had the Space Jam and we put them down it, drop them on the floor. We've already had the Space Jam, we've had the bread, we've had the cap and gown, uh, we've had the gammas. So it's a lot of it's a lot of black Air Jordan 11s, but I think a black Air Jordan 11 is always good. So. I, quite, I do really like the Jubilee. And the box, do like the box as well. And it all splits, falls apart. You've got the paper with 2000, 2000, 2020, 1995, the one I wanted to say on the paper, or 1995 to 2020, so it's the 25th anniversary of the 11. But the only thing that is disappointing about this shoe, what is this? Nike, why isn't these plastic? Every year, every year, we have had, I've got to take this one apart. We've had plastic shoe trees for an 11, and this year we get crappy cardboard. Why? That's me just throwing it at the computer. Why? That's the only thing that's disappointing about this release. So, of course, I will do on feet to this shoe. So, yes, it looks, does look very good, but it always looks good. I know that a black 11 always looks good. And as well, I did get the. Whoa, that's a bit too close to the camera. I did get the 35 DNA, which I have to admit this is probably one of the best colorways of the 35 so far. Probably will be the best colorway of the 35 that they'll do this year. And all over the silhouette when they have, when have they decide to bring out the 36. But for me, this is the best one. It's just so good. And I got it in the sack. They released it and on Nike UK you had 25% off as well. So 122 quid. Can't complain, 122 pounds. So I did get two pairs. So yeah, I just, I just really love, love this, love the 35. I'm tempted to get the other 35 that's coming out, but I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. But there's a good look. The DNA 35. Like I said I've been wearing them already, and yes, they are very, very nice. Do a bit of close up of the flight wire. Nobody knows. The zoom at the bottom. You can see the zoom in the butt on the back of the shoe, which is there. And more zoom there, see all the way through. It's just such a, I just, I think this is the best Jordan I've done for a signature shoe for a long time. Everybody that moans, oh, it's a basketball shoe. They're all basketball shoes, that's the whole point. They were all work in the back in the day, but yes, they're very good. I love the tongue, same as the Jordan 5. And I've got a five look for my phone, throw it back on the floor. And I will do on feet, of course, of all of them. And the next shoe, oh, I forgot to say. Did get another pair of these. I did get exclusive access randomly on my sneakers app the other day, so I did get another pair of them, which I was very happy about. Anything that's exclusive access, I intend straight away to get. So, yes, so very happy that I've got another pair of them. I don't know why, but my camera doesn't want to seem to focus at all today. So if anything's a bit blurred, my apologies. So on the sneakers app, got to do this traditional UK, EU sneakers app. I'll see if I can get the, while I'm talking about it, I'll put the video here. And the one, I, the one I, it's a draw again on Saturday, which is the, the Mallard. That looks sick, I have to admit, that trainer does. That look, that dunk, the dunk looks very, very good. So 
that will be a, I might enter the draw for that. And the main one I'm waiting for is the Jordan 4s. Hopefully we'll get some exclusive access next week. Fingers crossed, I'll have to see what happens. But yeah, that'd be great to see if we can get the Jordan 4. And I believe this shoe is not dropping in the US, which is the Court Purple 3s. They are not releasing in the US. It's an EU exclusive. So that'll be interesting to see what they do there. So that's a bit it's a bit weird why they're not doing that. So we'll have to we'll have to wait and see to see what uh, Nike do. So yes, so the next shoe will be hopefully like I said the Jordan 4s, they'll be the next on the radar. The mockers have been delayed, so yeah, we just have to wait and see. So please like subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh I forgot, my Instagram will be up here as well somewhere. And if you want to see what I'll get before that I put it all on YouTube, you can have a look on that. So yes, please like, subscribe and see you next time.